If you don't live under a rock and enjoy endlessly scrolling through YouTube shorts, then you've probably seen or heard about Skibbity Toilet. Skibbity Toilet comes from this YouTube channel. It consists of cameras and suits that are fighting toilets with heads at sync. The only way to defeat those toilets is to flush the toilet. It's completely unhinged and nobody asked for it, but the series has absolutely blown up and is easily what I would call an internet sensation. It has become so popular that it's now a game that you can play online. I found two games about Skibbity Toilet that I honestly can't believe exist. Today, I'll be playing those two games so you don't have to. We are starting with Skibbity Toilet Toilet Infection. This game is round based and has 20 rounds, or as I call it, theories. You start by learning the controls of the 1v1 against the Skibbity Toilet. Your health is displayed at the bottom left of the screen, and for now, the controls of the game are shown in the top left. The controls are pretty basic overall, not too difficult to understand. To flush the toilets, you have to be really close to them and then use your left mouse button to flush. As the next rounds start, another camera adjustment in a suit helps you flush more toilets. As you can already tell, this game is pretty basic and repetitive since it's round based. However, since there are 20 rounds, you expect a boss fight or a cool sequence to happen at round 20 to provide a sense of accomplishment, right? Well, before we find out, there are a few things I need to mention that happen as the game progresses. As we encounter more enemy toilets, we also get more security cameras on our side. However, a new enemy is introduced that can infect these security cameras and make them attack not only me, but the other security cameras as well. We're able to purchase security cameras with an electric gun, killing the baby skibbity toilets, and turning them back to our side. Honestly, I wasn't expecting the baby toilets at all, but here I am creating a video about toilets with seeing heads and security camera protagonists dressed in suits because of how popular an animated story has become. Anyway, the next significant things that occur are another enemy whose toilet is now blue with cop lights and the singing head now has a police hat. We also encounter two different camera heads, one with the head of a webcam and the other having the head of a filmmaker's camera. The biggest difference between the two is that the filmmaker camera head seems slower but can take more damage while the webcams do a cool little dance when the round is over and that's it. Nothing else happens as you progress through the rounds, which makes leading up to round 20 seem promising for a boss fight or a big cinematic event like the black hole event in Fortnite or the in-game live event with the monster vs the robot. Unfortunately, round 20 is just like the rest, and after the round ends, it kicks us back to the main menu. Very anticlimactic. I'm giving this game a 5 out of 10. Someone did take the time, patience, and skills to create this game, but it could be better if it led up to some sort of boss fight or cutscene. Now, the next game is called Skibbity Toilet Attack and Defense. Before we begin, I must say that this game is actually a lot of fun. I spent over an hour playing it. It's one of those games that feels like the old Flash games you could play, or a game you would play on your iPod. Yes, iPod, not the iPhone. It just feels nostalgic. Also, the background music is amazing. After selecting Start, you're greeted with a menu. Each round starts with this menu that allows you to buy weapons. You can buy speakers that slow down enemies, dynamite that destroys enemies in the front, and a plunger that kills enemies in one click. After selecting to battle, there's a health bar in the shape of a battery, a counter for the money you obtain for flushing the skibbity toilets, and a level progress bar at the top to show you how much of the level is left. It's very simple, but it's beautifully done in my opinion. The enemies move from the top of the screen to the bottom and you flush them by spamming your left mouse button. For each enemy you flush, you earn money. Again, it's a simple concept, done well. Now you might easily dismiss it as boring or repetitive like the first game, but this game is different. How so? There are different enemy types that require more clicks than others. For example, there's one with a hat that requires about 12 clicks, and then the fast yellow ones require about 3 clicks. The cherry on top that makes the game so much better is the inclusion of boss fights. Every fifth round there's a boss fight that requires more and more clicks. These bosses are larger than the other Skibbity Toilets, and you get a sense of accomplishment each time you defeat one. Because there's a boss fight every fifth round, it keeps you playing and eager to see what the next boss is and how challenging it's going to be. I initially thought there were going to be 25 rounds based on the little graphic on the left side of the screen depicting a map that goes to 25. However, it actually goes up to 108 rounds, which is a lot. My arm was dead around level 25, I pushed on to level 35, and on level 36, I threw in the towel. Not because I was bored of the game, but because my index finger was so tired from clicking. The last thing about this game that makes it great is the fact that there's a survival mode with the leaderboard. To get first place, you simply have to survive the longest. It's simple, but it gives the player something to work towards. Out of the two games, Skibbity Toilet Attack and Defense was definitely my favorite. I enjoyed how simple everything was in the addition of the boss fights. The overall design of the game reminded me of something from my childhood and was very nostalgic to me. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and if you will be playing these games or not. I know I said I played it so you didn't have to, but sometimes it's better to try things out for yourselves. If you watched the end of the video, go ahead and subscribe. I would appreciate it and give it a like too. As always, I'm not Mayo and I'll see you guys in the next one.